Hello ladies and gents, so uh, this is probably gonna be the most easy or like the easiest concept um, or implementation that I've done but, but, but yet I wanted to do that uh, to accomplish that for many years in the past I just, you know, ne never get my hand I never got my hands on it like the proper way I never needed that on any, on any of my projects like almost, on almost any of them besides like my very very first job ever um, but uh, yeah but I always was curious on how to achieve that and, and you know I think I, I finally have so uh, this is gonna be so we're gonna like uh, take a look at the, at the uh, Gmail email API automation via Playwright of course and we're gonna run it locally and in CI so and it's gonna be as simple as that like probably the hardest part here or it's not like just it's, so it's not the hardest in the sense, in the technical sense, but you know, more in the sense of um, finding or allocating the credentials that you're gonna need, the tokens, right? So, I mean, like just the credentials that you're gonna need for this test. And for that, you're gonna need to set up a Gmail API. And when you do that, everything else is like uh, a knife in the butter. So, you're using the Playwright, you're generating a spec and a class which describes the, uh, the, the couple of methods based on the Gmail app. So we're gonna be sending an email to our own email, right? So we're gonna be sending a mail to our own email. So the sender and the receiver is gonna be the same email address in our case. But in your case, it can be like, it can be, those can be dif different or whichever you want. This is a template for your project. So you can kind of implement that and capitalize on it if you want to, of course, or if you need to. So yeah, now we're gonna send an email. Send, so we're gonna send a mail to that email via the Google API. And if it's not uh, delivered, and, we, and, and then we're gonna check that it's uh, in the inbox. And if it's not in the inbox, we're gonna like wait for five seconds and retry our loop. So this is gonna be a loop. And if it's, it, and if it's out there, we're gonna retrieve that body and we're gonna retrieve the subject and we're gonna assert that the subject and body are, you know, have the expected values which are gonna be also dynamically generated. Yeah, and as I mentioned, we're gonna run this in locally and in, in CI. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's get our uh, Google, let's say tokens, data, credentials, whatever, which let us uh, access the Google API so we can send the mail and later on receive it and check that shit. So we need to create a new project. Let's say new project like that. Let's call this, I don't know, like uh, Gmail, Gmail automation. Then we're gonna select that. We're gonna go to uh, APIs and services or of uh, consent screen. The support email is gonna be our email. So if I'm not like mocking this, I'm not masking this out because this email is used in our automation. And it was specifically created for this shit. We got external audience. Let's go to the next one. Let me set my personal email to the contact info and agree with the Google API services uh, policy. All right, let's go continue wait a little bit. Let me click the uh, create auth client. So that's going to be a web app. The name is going to be something like that. Redirect URLs. Let it be like this. And now let us create this thing. Okay, so we got our auth client credentials, right? So we're going to download this JSON. We're going to need it in our spec. So the client ID. Let's go to the data and this is the one, I guess. The Gmail client ID. And this is the Gmail client secret right here. So the next thing we gotta get is, uh, I guess, the uh, the refresh token. And for that to take effect, we gotta use our own auth credentials. So we gotta provide client ID and client secret. We got like the previous step. Uh, this is the shit. Yeah, so we've provided that. And we need to find this Gmail API version one and select this one, mail.google.com and click authorize APIs. Then we're gonna choose our account. Since I got lots of these, I'm gonna choose the one that we've used for, for our uh, Gmail APIs uh, credentials retrieval. Now we gotta go back to our um, application in the Google Cloud and go to audience and then go out here and add a test user. Jesus Christ. Why do they make it so difficult? Why do they always have to overcomplicate things, right? I think this is a common issue for the IT people. Making everything look so incredibly fucking difficult. Well, we can just, you know, make a couple clicks and make shit happen. Fucking bullshit. That's my honest opinion. Yeah, let's add our email. Okay, I guess now hopefully we can return to this uh, thing and uh, 
try again, I guess. Okay, now we see that we've been given access to this app. It's currently being tested. And we click continue. Because why should, should, shouldn't I trust myself? I trust myself because I fucking created this shit. Okay, let's continue. So we got our request and response out here. And, we, and in the response, we got to take uh, and use the refresh token, I guess. And put it in our .n file. Yeah, the larger the company, the shittier this the policy of this fucking company. Whatever. I think I would just prefer using the paper mail at this moment rather than this informational technology shit. And we got, we also got our uh, Gmail redirect URL. I guess you're gonna have the same in your case. So I think, I hope, I truly hope that this is it. Like that, that we won't need any like environmental variables. These are, I mean, the static section. So the dynamic section, I I, pre I I don't really care about that because we can get that like instantly in the spec. Now let's do a quick code breakdown for this test. So this might be pretty useful on your projects. You know, um, I've seen a decent tutorial on this topic like only once and, and never since. So I decided to cover this one by myself because this was, you know, this kind of was bothering me throughout the years, like over the past years. So yeah, uh, let's uh, just quickly run through this stuff. So I got this new project, uh, new command added to to the package JSON to be able to run this uh, test suite. Then I got the new project added here. I'll call it Gmail. Here the test matches here. Um, the next thing is I've also added it to our test prod YAML and of course the test stage YAML. This is just to, you know, the showcase for multi uh CI runs in GitHub. But, you know, it doesn't matter that much now. So uh, I've just added it here, so you'll be able to run it in CI as well. And we're gonna see that too. Um, the next thing is uh, I've added like the most, uh, you know, this sensitive data, but it's not so sensitive because we're doing demo right here. So, but, uh, you know, the, I got the uh, client and decline secret redirect URL and refresh token, which I've spoken about earlier. And I think this is the most juicy part. Um, these, I mean, this module or this class, the Gmail API class is the most juicy part in this demo. Because this is like the core, like the whole logic is, just, is uh, described here. So I'm using the no, uh, Node Mailer and Google APIs um, for, you know, for uh, triggering the emails and checking that. So I got the interface which uh, corresponds to the Gmail test data and the test data module is here. So I'm gonna be sending this test data, like the sender, receiver, emails, then we're gonna have the subject and text. This one corresponds, this email corresponds to the account where I have set up that Google um, Gmail API service so that we we're able to interact with the Google API programmatically via the methods in this class, for example. So we got the interface, next we got this class. So at first we got our variables, then we got our constructor where we assign the values to these variables. Of course, these are the, those four critical um, critical API, uh, critical environment variables, which we're gonna be using when we when we handle the auth2 for the Google APIs right here. So we're passing the client ID, the secret, and the redirect URI. And once we handle that, we're setting the credentials. We're also passing the, uh, we're passing the refresh token, which is set in our .env file. So the next thing we got, we instantiate the Gmail kind of you know, instance so that we're able to interact with it um, in the further methods, like programmatically. And we basically, we're gonna have just two methods. One is gonna be send the email from the specific address with a specific email body and to a specific re uh, recipient. And another, the second method is gonna check that the email is in the inbox, um, that it contains the subject fragment, like the substring, and then it also contains the expected body text. So we're gonna retrieve that body text I mean, like, we're gonna retrieve the whole email body, the mail body, right? And we're gonna expect it to contain, you know, some string of our choosing, right? The one that we have uh, the, the one that we have sent in the send email method. So let's go through the send email method then. So first we got, so yeah, it's gonna receive the interface, the Gmail data interface. Then it's gonna have, like, we're gonna have the access token, which is the dynamic part of the sensitive di data. So we're gonna retrieve the access token with an auth2 client, which we have instantiated earlier and processed earlier. So next we uh, we declare the transport constant and we're creating the transport uh, via the node mailer with a Gmail service and with an auth like, you know, the, we, we, we set the type, we 
set the sender email right, right here from our test data, which is this one. We set, you know, the sensitive data, client ID, client secret and refresh token. And we, send the ex uh, we set the access token, which we have just received. You know, being more specific, we set the token uh, parameter of, uh, of the access token itself. So this should be an object. Um, yeah, once we have instantiated this transport constant, so uh, we, the next thing we do is we, um, we declare the result constant and it's gonna wait until we use the send email method on this transport on the known mailer. We're gonna pass like the sender receiver emails, which is the same email in our case, but it's gonna be probably can be different in your case. Let's say you're gonna be using the email alias with a plus. I mean, something like, or something like that, test one, two, three, four. So that's up to you. I'm only showing you, I, I, I'm only showing you the, uh, the core, the schema, which can be adjusted and customized based on your needs. Uh, we are sending an email and we're checking that. We and we're logging it to the console that, uh, you know, the uh, we send an email with this object and we're also logging the message ID. So that's our send email method. And then let's go and take a look at the wait for unread emails with this object fragment. Yeah, I know it's a bit long, but you know, for the wholesomeness of this demo once again. So we're gonna send some arguments to that. Like subject fragment, of course, string or a substring of, uh, of this object that we've sent an email with in the previous method, this subject, right? So, um, and we're also going to have the expected body text, which would correspond to the data text right here. And it's going to return a promise, either a string or null. So we're going to log all the steps, all the, all the necessary steps throughout the process. So first we're logging that we're waiting for unread email with the subject containing the subject fragment. And this is going to be a loop because, you know, sometimes the email does not arrive, um, you know, instantly. It almost never does, so it needs some time it needs some time to be processed by the server. So that's why we're doing this in a loop. And we are sending like some Google native uh, API methods with like using the native API from the Google APIs, right? So we, in this one, we're getting the messages list and we're getting like maximum results is five. But you know, for the purpose of this demo, we, we, we can just get the, you know, the one result. But let's do five since we're gonna iterate through them. Um, and we store those within the cons uh, within the constant. And if there is like no messages or the length is null is zero, I'm sorry. Um, we are gonna log that there's nothing like no hundred messages uh, present in the in the inbox. And then we're gonna like make a five second delay, like just basically like insert a five second timeout and retry the cycle or try the loop, right? Reiterate the loop. If a message, per, if, if the message exists out there, if there is at least like one message, you know, so uh, it's gonna return an array. This is like definitely gonna be an array. So it either doesn't exist or like its length, the, the length of this uh, array is zero, is zero. So it's gonna an empty array or it has elements. And in the case where it has elements, we're gonna have to, to get the messages with the user ID of me. That's the way we can interact with uh, with Google. The next we gonna also get the uh, the ID of the message and the format format of of the uh, I guess of the uh, of the email body. So we are gonna declare some constants. First one is gonna be headers. It's gonna return the headers. So we're gonna store the headers out there. Then we're gonna have the specific subject header. And we're gonna retrieve. So at first we gotta store. You know, we we gotta retrieve the headers. Then we gotta retrieve the subject header from those headers, right? And then we gotta retrieve the subject from the subject header, which is like the string, the text value of the subject in your email. Whenever you compose an email, that's the subject. So basically, this is, this is like an abstract representation of that shit. So if the subject, which is formatted to the lowercase, includes the subject format, for the subject fragment, which is also formatted to lower, lowercase. Like if it's not there or this condition isn't met, we are reiterating the loop. But if it is there, so we declare the uh, variable, we call it the body. And then this part retrieves the actual body of the, you know, of the email. To cut a long story short, this piece of code converts the email body to the UTF-8 format, which is like text readable, readable by the machine. In our, in our case, it's by playwright, by automation uh, framework. So once it's done, we're logging that the email has been found, we're logging the subject, and we're logging the body. So we trim it, but we're still logging it to the console. And if it does not include the substring, so we are gonna be logging that specifically and, reiter and reiterating the loop because the email body does not contain our expected body text. 
expected substrate, I'm sorry. So, once again, imagine we didn't encounter any issues throughout the process. And then we got our email subject in body match and we return, we return the subject. Probably, you know, just in case, if you want to work with it, like in the further steps uh, with your, within your test case. For example, you want to format it, you want to check the links, you, know, you want to check that the links within the HTML of the email are not broken. Or, you know, do a bunch of other verifications, expects or whatever. And basically that's it, right? So we're having this delay as a timeout, like an, uh, like an assistive method. So this is our test data and this is our spec. Nothing fancy about it, actually. So we import the test data, we import our keywords from, the, from our like describing tests and steps. And then we can basically like, like I said, we got two steps, sending an email and checking an email subject and body. So now let me demonstrate how this stuff runs locally and in CI. So this is my email. It's empty right now. You can see the inbox is empty. So let me run, where do we have this? Image, email tests, broad. So let me quickly run this case or this switch or this spec or whatever. Yeah, I think it looks cool and decent. So um, let me just might magnify that a little bit. So here's our env and we've sent an email with the subject of, like, of this, like a date string, random date and the message ID. So we're waiting for the unread email with the subject containing this substring. We have found an email like from the first attempt. We got our subject of the email and we got the body. So like this is an automated test email from play from playwright with a random date string, right? So nothing fancy about it. And we have verified that uh, the email subject and body match. So here is our email. This is the body. Uh, this is the subject. This is the subject. And this is the body. And here's our subject from our test. And obviously here's our body. So Looks good. Looks, looks decent to me. And let me also show you how this thing runs in the CI, right? So we click on run workflow and copy and paste the Gmail test prod suite for the prod YAML. And we hit run workflow. And let's wait for a bit. So once again, we've got to set the matrix. We're going to push that suite name and we're going to, to cache the dependencies. So the matrix is set. Now we're caching the environment. Okay, the depths have been cached. Here's our Gmail test prod suite. Create the end file, run in the test. Test has passed, and uh, here's our second email, which was generated as a, as the result of that test. And I guess that here is our Slack message, the Gmail test prod, and here's the report. Since there's like almost like zero to none uh, steps in this uh, spec, there's nothing to to check right here. You know, we, we just got the STD out, which is the console logs. So yeah. That's how this stuff works. Um, once again, thanks for your attention. Feel free to use this temp as a template on your project. Basically, like the, <laughs> the only you know pain in the ass here is uh, the uh, being able to create this uh, Google Gmail API app or service or whatever. So this took me the most like uh, effort. Thank you for your attention and time. See you around, senoras and senoritas.